Hey, in today's video, I'm sharing 50 flattering and inspirational fall outfits that you can make with things you already own. Hi, this is Netta and welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you create a wardrobe and a style that you love so that you look beautiful and feel confident every single day. If that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely hit the subscribe button before you leave, hit the like button, all the things, right? Okay, so excited to get started today because this, this has been one of the most popular formats for YouTube videos for me, um, something that you guys have responded to a lot and asked for more of. So uh, without further ado, 50 flattering and inspirational fall outfit ideas. One of the things that we all tend to do is we tend to wear the same items in the same ways over and over and over again. And we don't look at how we can mix and match our wardrobe to create interesting and exciting new combinations. So videos like this um, and you know just really browsing Instagram, browsing Pinterest, those are great ways to get inspiration on how to wear the pieces that you already have. One of the things I tell the women in my Ageless Style program all the time, if you're wearing the same piece in the same way, go on Pinterest and search you know, for a description of that piece, what to wear with my black blazer, what to wear with my green utility jacket, whatever, um, or green utility jacket outfits. And you're going to get uh, way more inspiration than you can possibly wear in a year. So um, it's just, it's a fun exercise and a fun activity. Obviously, you're not going to own all of these pieces and they're not all going to be um, like right for your personal style, your, your body type, your lifestyle, etc. But most of these ideas should hopefully trigger something in your brain, inspire you to do something different with the things that are already hanging in your closet. And maybe if you're noticing that there are several outfits in a row that feature an item, usually that item will be an accessory that you may not already own. Maybe you can say, okay, well, that would be a worthwhile purchase for me because that showed up in so many of the outfits that I liked. So anyway, let's get started. I have a lot to cover today, 50 outfit ideas. Okay, the first one is, I love this, it's kind of got a 60s feeling for uh, to it. It's a black, kind of a little bit of a boxy but shorter dress. This outfit is from Emerson Fry, I believe, and then with the white boots. I just love the black and white combination. It's, it's so stylish and so timeless. Um, you could also, of course, do this with chocolate brown and cream boots, but the contrast between that dark and almost, you know, modern and really, really simple dress and then the cool white, kind of edgy boots, I just love that, that look. I also love this next look, very, very different. So we've got um, light, kind of looks like cream skinny pants, a dark top, and then neutral layers on top. It, you know, a long neutral uh, jacket in like a camel color, long neutral coat in a camel color, really, really cool. And then she added these cool kind of combat boots, moto boots in an animal print. So I kind of love the way she tied all of the colors together in that boot, and then of course added the hat on top. So it's a really simple pieces, but she accessorized artfully and I just love the combination. Of course, carrying all those Bloomingdale's bags doesn't hurt either. Um, okay, I also really like, speaking of neutral layers with a camel coat, um, similar concept, but I love this, the, the shape of these jeans is just beautiful. So wearing a beautiful pair of jeans with a white um, blouse that can be dressed up or down, and in this case is being right smack in the middle with a long um, cardigan or camel coat and then a darker neutral boot in this case kind of like a darker brown boot very very chic very polished very pulled together look that's also really simple again you probably have pieces like this hanging in your wardrobe and it might be um, time to just wear them all at the same time right okay i love this next look it's a neutral sweater um, beautiful jeans, camel coat again, and then they added a statement shoe. So this is so me. I love the pairing of really simple, really neutral clothes with a really fabulous accessory like a statement shoe. The shoe is color blocked. It's just a beautiful, beautiful look. Again, this, this outfit is also from Emerson Fry, and I think it's just so, so chic. This next look is tone on tone on tone, which you will see a lot show up in these fall outfits because it's such an easy and elegant way um, to wear colors together. So if you're ever like, oh, but this beige doesn't match this beige or this gray doesn't match this gray, look at outfits like this for inspiration. So she's wearing um, white, a white top and white 
um, skinny jeans tucked into over the knee gray boots with a long gray or taupish colored duster jacket and a gray bag. So she's got three different shades of gray there, none of them the same, over a white neutral column in the middle. And I just love, love that combination. This next outfit, this is like black leather pants with, with, if you don't have black leather skinny pants or black leather pants of any sort, I will say they show up in so many outfits and they're just such an easy and believe it or not, comfortable and versatile thing to have in your wardrobe. So um, most of them are faux leather and um, they're just, they're a lot more comfortable than they appear. So black leather pants, a white um, sweater or even sweatshirt if you're gonna go more casual, camel coat, cool earrings, just kind of, you know, the, the accessories, the camel coat, the cool earrings kind of tie that look together. Okay, um, this next outfit, simple, sophisticated, timeless, something you can wear for years. It's a silky cream blouse and a silky beige um, midi skirt. So kind of almost like a two-piece dress look, silky blouse, silky skirt, effortless, elegant, timeless look that is um, just beautiful. And then wearing it with kind of like a strappy shoe um, would further elongate the line, especially if the shoe was neutral and didn't kind of cut off the leg line. Another look with leather leggings. These are le leather leggings worn over, worn with um, a white button down or a white, it could even be a, you know any longer white top um, with a gray sweatshirt or gray sweater worn over that. And sneakers, cool little bag, just an easy casual. Like if you wanna run around and wear a sweatshirt and leggings, wear that sweatshirt over a white button down shirt, um, make the leggings leather instead of a, you know, a cotton knit and you've just elevated the entire look right? Okay, this next look, um, this is one I've seen before. I hope I didn't feature, the, I might have featured this in my last one because I like it so much. It's just so timeless, um, but it's, uh, you know, black pants or skinny jeans or dress pants, and that depends on you, your lifestyle, what you want to wear that day. Um, a white blouse, um, I would probably tuck this in a little bit more now, but you can wear that at whatever length that you find flattering. Camel coat or jacket, um, a nice neutral brown bag that's like one of the most neutral neutrals and um, just looks polished and elegant wearing it with a long pendant necklace which is a big trend for fall 2021 if you're looking for a necklace like that that is so cool um lots of camel coat inspiration here right so if you don't have a camel coat a trench coat even a long camel cardigan i mean it doesn't have to be camel if that's not a color that works for you i have to wear camel judiciously but maybe it can be gray for you maybe it's taupe maybe it's chocolate but that long neutral topper is um, showing up in so many of these outfits and so so stylish so this is a white top jeans that neutral topper again and boots that kind of tie the whole look together so very very simple very elegant and you can tell that it's the attention to detail so the finishing touches with the accessories and then the way that these individual pieces fit and and how well chosen these individual pieces are that take these from being boring outfits to being beautiful outfits Okay, next look, more leather pant inspiration, leather pants, um, black tee, it looks like she's got a green utility jacket, a patterned leopard um, kind of fashion sneaker, and then a cool um, bag. So again, all of these pieces are neutral. You can wear them in any different type of combination that you want, but the, the adding the pattern in the sneaker um, is just a nice way to like take those, those uh, monochromatic or um, solid pieces and make them a little bit more interesting. Okay, next look, very chic and polished. Love it with the hair pulled back and the black sunglasses, but again, you've got a black base layer, a monochromatic base layer of top and, and pants, which we know is always flattering and lengthening. She's wearing it in this case with a strappy sandal, strappy shoe, which looks, you know, further elongates the look. And then she's wearing a different color neutral in a moto jacket. I just love, love, love that look. Okay, this next look is a little bit more casual, very effortless. It's a chambray top. Um, looks like it's kind of tight at the waist there. She's wearing it with olive jeans or olive pants, but of course you could do this with any neutral pants. And then again, we're seeing that printed shoe kind of tying the whole look together, making it more interesting. 
Um, I love this next one. I just think it's so cute and so timeless. So she's wearing um, a striped top, jeans, um, a pair of rain boots, great rainy day look, little baseball cap, and a vest. So really, really cute. Again, you're layering basic pieces and you're taking them and making them into interesting outfits. Um, I love this. This is a pair of skinny pants. You could do the leather pants here. It would be really, really cute. And a neutral boot with one of the pieces of the season, which is a poncho. This is a great neutral poncho. Um, and it's worn over uh, what looks like it's a white, it could be a white long sleeve tee. It could be a white turtleneck, but like a long white layer underneath it, long sleeve white layer underneath it. Just a very elegant, easy, comfortable look that's also cozy. Okay, I love how intentional this outfit is because we've got the wide, slightly wide leg cropped um, white jeans that I, or, and of course this could be any, any fabric of lighter colored pants, but that beautiful shape. And then she's wearing it with this beautiful, rich, neutral sweater and matching boots. The boots and the sweater are very close in color and just you know, kind of tie the whole look together beautifully. It's just very, very elegant and looks simple, but every single one of those pieces was just beautifully chosen, right? Okay, this next outfit, this is a great kind of work-friendly outfit. She is wearing a printed midi skirt with a white, um, looks like a white sleeveless top. It could be a shell, it could be a cami, and a blazer in a beautiful color that works with your coloring. So, you know, it was a neutral printed skirt and a colored blazer is such a great combination it can be a midi for you it can be a street length style for you it could be a little bit shorter um, and then just adding that color in that blazer it just ties everything together it looks beautiful um, another uh, kind of fall feeling look to me this pair of distressed dark jeans that can be dark blue they can be black with a striped um, marinier top you know like French striped uh, classic top and again we're seeing that neutral solid topper um, um, whatever topper you want, it can be a cardigan, it can be a, a trench, it can be a camel coat, um, and a neutral bag. So we're seeing our, our you know, shopping lists, our wish lists um, kind of fill in as we look at these outfits because these are things that kind of come up again and again and we can see the versatility in some of these pieces. So if you don't have these pieces, maybe those can be next on your list. I love a sweater dress in fall and winter. I think it's so cozy and so cute. So this is a really pretty neutral sweater dress worn with a darker neutral um, knee-high boot. Knee-high boots are definitely back. They're not only comfortable, they're a great way to keep your legs warm and they're super, super cute with, with dresses. I just love them paired with dresses. And, and also a knee-high boot is a great way to pull out those skinny jeans that maybe you're not feeling like they're as stylish right now. If you wear them um, with knee-high boots over them, they're, it's just like the perfect fit right okay um, I love this cami in a dark neutral and then a midi skirt like a flowy midi skirt in a silky material in a lighter neutral so the darker neutral cami the lighter neutral midi skirt um, just very very elegant she's wearing it with you know cute shoes just kind of tying the whole look together with the accessories Okay, this next look, if you have like a statement jacket, I used to have so many statement jackets in my wardrobe that I never knew what to do with. Like I just did not know how to pair them with anything. And the easiest way to pair those statement pieces is with very simple pieces. So here we've got a pair of jeans, a really pretty but simple white top, and a pair of neutral slouchy boots. One of the key boot silhouettes of the season, these slouchy boots, I just absolutely love them. And then she's wearing it with a patterned and interesting kind of statement jacket. So again, it's just an easy way to wear those statement pieces is to combine them with basic solid neutral pieces and then that piece becomes the star of the outfit right as it definitely does in this look okay so i love um, an evening blouse like the type of blouse that you would wear to go out to dinner or maybe you'd wear it with a dressy skirt for a night on the town that kind of thing or even a work blouse worn in a really casual or really unexpected way so in this case you've got like velvet tops that you could wear i think she's got two pieces like a, a top and a jacket that you could wear for evening in a, in a dressier way and she's wearing them with jeans and kind of like um, a pattern cowboy boot and i think that's just such a cool intentional look so if you've got your work blouses in a box where you only wear them for work consider pairing them this way pairing them in with something a little bit more casual and and pulling together a, a different type of look 
Okay, um, jeans, a cami, and a patterned top or jacket worn over the top. Love this look. Um, again, if you've got patterned tops, you're only wearing them one way, or if you've got statement jackets or pattern jackets, you're only wearing them one way. Here, a cami, jeans, casual boots, um, and then you just throw on that outer layer. This could be a plaid top. It could be a floral top that you, your blouse that you're wearing unbuttoned. Um, it could be, like I said, a little jacket with a pattern on it, but just an easy way to wear some of those pieces that you've got a little bit differently. Okay, so this next look is sometimes a sweater and jeans combo can look a little bit boring. And so if you've got a pair of patterned jeans or patterned pants in your wardrobe, maybe they're plaid pants, uh, maybe they're a herringbone or you know maybe it's a work pant that has a subtle pattern on it um try pairing it with a neutral sweater and it will elevate both of the pieces especially if you add boots a, a pattern pant and a neutral sweater again sometimes a neutral sweater and jeans can be a little underwhelming and a little boring but if you bring a little pattern in with the pants it's an unexpected and cool looking touch um i love this outfit this is a white shirt skinny it looks like skinny cords or skinny velvet velvet pants um, or leggings could all, would also work with this. Um, a pattern vest and loafers. So I just like, I mean, she took two very basic pieces, a pair of skinny pants or leggings in a beautiful color and a white button down shirt and added um, a pattern vest on top and then these beautiful loafers. So uh, it's really the finishing touches that make some of these outfits interesting. Otherwise they would be super, super simple, right? Okay, so let's look at the next one. I love this flowy, flirty, roughly top with a beautiful pair of um, dramatic wide leg or, um, uh, you know, the, the bell-bottom kind of style pants in corduroy. Then she added a hat and boots and it just kind of completed the entire outfit. Just love, love, love this combination. It's so fall and so beautiful. You don't have to have the wide leg pants. Maybe you just want to do a roughly top with your cords or your velvet jeans or velvet pants if you've got those and boots and a hat great great outfit um i love this next look it's a little unexpected it's a tonal look and it's um she's wearing shades from the, the pink family but like a, a dark wine or eggplant colored top with these beautiful fuchsia again corduroy or velvet pants and then grounding the outfit with a pair of neutral boots really easy to do with pieces maybe it's maybe it's teal for you maybe it's different shades of blue maybe it's different shades of yellow or orange or green whatever those shades are combining those two different shades together in an outfit and then tying the look together with neutral uh, boots is so so chic okay um very simple very cute outfit though white flowy top faded jeans Brown clogs or sandals. Clogs are a big trend for fall winter. So brown clogs or, or um, sorry, or boots, not sandals. Brown clogs or boots and then a cool hat again. So she's tying these two very basic pieces together with a great hat and a great pair of shoes. Um, I love, I, you can tell I'm feeling the 70s vibes right now, but I love these wide leg jeans, but this outfit would work equally well with any jeans. I love uh, the striped top with these faded jeans, neutral boots, and then she adds a pop of color with the belt. What a great and, and unexpected touch that is. So the entire outfit is neutral, it's kind of laid back and effortless, and then she adds that just kind of little, little statement with that belt. Um, okay, I love this outfit. It's, again, so simple. She's wearing faded gray jeans. It could be black jeans, it could be blue jeans, any jeans that you've got. A pair of neutral kind of taupe boots. She's wearing a sleeveless sweater, you know, like sleeveless turtleneck sweater, like a chunky cable knit sweater. A lot of people have, you know, these sleeveless sweaters in their wardrobe. And then she has a plaid shirt long plaid shirt worn over the top unbuttoned as almost like a little jacket so really really cute and simple um, outfit that you can you can tweak to fit the pieces that you already have in your own wardrobe right i love this outfit this is so glam flowy floral dress with matching boots so this is so polished and so like a little bit high maintenance looking when you take um the color of your dress and you echo it in the boots you're like wow you have boots that color like it's such a a, a stylish and beautiful look so if there's a signature color that you love you guys know mine are red and wine um i would do this with a red or wine dress and then boots in that same color oh that would be amazing okay so 
I love this outfit. Again, I've told you leather pants and there are lots of different silhouettes of leather pants. These are a little bit ha maybe harder to wear and a little intimidating, but this could happen with any, it could be your leather leggings. It could be, you know, leather regular, you know, like jean style pants, whatever leather pants that you have paired with a work blouse or a professional looking blouse. Like it's taking that, that businessy looking blouse and you're combining it with the leather. It's, it's unexpected and it gives you a different way to wear some of your work clothes, especially if you're not wearing them as much in 2021 um, and then she's pairing it with strappy sandals so there's a lot of volume in those leather pants so the strappy sandals work really well with this look I love this next look. You may not want to go as short um, with the dress, but like a shorter or maybe over the knee dress with, I mean, uh, above the knee or at the knee uh, printed flowy dress with um, an over the knee or knee high suede boot. So really comfortable. This is like a combination I have been wearing for years and years, a shorter, a printed dress and a knee high boot is just classic. So, um, you know, the, the boots are neutral and will go with everything. So if you don't have a pair of knee high boots in your wardrobe or over the knee boots in your wardrobe, it's definitely something I would recommend. And I feel like this season for me, it's all about them in suede. So I love, love, love that look and it will update all of your dresses and kind of bring them into fall, especially for those of us who live in warm climates. Okay. Moving on from that outfit, because I've still got a lot to cover. Um, faded distressed jeans with, again, we're seeing a dressy blouse or a work appropriate blouse, um, a slouchy, uh, chunky cardigan over the top and a pair of boots. Very easy way, again, to repurpose some of the dressier blouses and bring them into uh, maybe your more casual lifestyle these days. I love this look. This just takes me back. It just makes me feel um, all sorts of boho vibes, but it's a tiered skirt, a white blouse tucked into it, and then a beautiful pair of neutral boots. Again, you can make this look more flattering for you by making the skirt shorter, um, but just the, the different shades, if you just want to take inspiration from the different shades of neutrals, the, the, the off-white or white paired with a more rust-colored brown and then a different shade of brown for the boots and pull use that to inspire your outfit. I just, I love that combo. Okay, um, this is so simple. White top, white cami, white tee, whatever you have, pair of medium wash jeans. And then she's just wearing um, a long cardigan or a long duster, a long jacket, whatever you have. It could be a blazer even, and a pair of boots that are in the same color. And it just kind of ties the whole look together and it makes it, I know I've said you can do different colors together, that works as well. This is a, is a different take on that and it looks very elegant and polished and also a little elongating. So I love this look. Um, this next look is very office friendly, business casual uh, um, friendly, um, and it's a blouse in a neutral color, dark neutral pants. In this case, they look like they're black. And then she again ties the look together with a patterned shoe in a subtle animal print. So works really, really well for any kind of a, um, a work environment, business casual environment, but you can also wear this, you know, just anywhere. Super versatile outfit. Um, this next outfit with a black column underneath, brown boots, and then a lighter neutral top. I love love the black dress as the column, um, and then a neutral duster or cardigan that's a lot lighter than the, the dress, and then brown boots and a black bag. So she's combined four different neutrals in this outfit, and it just totally works and looks beautiful together. Sometimes a boxy sweater can be hard to wear. In this next look, um, I've, you know, I've done a video on tucking, but in this next look, um, you're seeing a boxy sweater tucked in to the front of her jeans and she's wearing it with a belt to further define the waist and um, leopard shoes. So again, nothing is nothing has any pattern on it and she just adds a little bit of pattern in that shoe and I think it's super, super stylish. I love, love, love this look from Anthropology. It's a floral maxi dress. Sometimes these can be overwhelming so she's belted it to add waist definition and flattery and it's also got an open neckline like a V neckline which makes it even more flattering. So I love the fact that it's belted. She added straps happy shoes to further kind of add to the flattery and elongate the leg line and then a really cool pair of statement earrings. Okay, this next look is neutral on neutral on neutral again, and you, any combination of this that works for you. So dark pants, light top, medium toned jacket, um, darker neutral scarf, and then 
black or dark gray boots in this case, and um, a black bag. So every shade, tonal shade of, of gray and, and then thrown in some white or off-white in this is just um, makes it a really stylish and intentional outfit. So if you don't want neutral outfits to be boring, add different tones of the same neutral and add different textures and you're going to get a really elegant look. Um, this next look is a monochromatic black outfit and then she just threw on a big plaid over shirt. Very simple, very cozy, very comfortable, easy outfit for just hanging out on a regular, you know, weekday. Told you about the leather pants, they're gonna come up again and again. Here is a pair of black leather pants. These are more fitted with a white fitted top tucked in. And then this beautiful, like glamorous camel coat thrown over the top, just a very, very elegant outfit. Again, she's accessorized it beautifully with the bag and the jewelry. I love this outfit because sometimes a printed midi dress can be hard to wear. Um, they can be, you know, they could just have a lot of fabric and it can, it can be a little unflattering. In this case, she, added a tonal pair of boots that kind of picks up on the same um, level of color that's in that dress and elongates the line. Because the boots come up underneath the hem of the dress, you've got a longer unbroken line and um, the boots in that lighter color also creates that lengthening effect. So I love this. I think it's beautiful if you've got a pattern dress in your wardrobe that you've been trying to decide how to wear it with, you know, what, what to wear it with, um, wear it with a pair of, of uh, boots that come up underneath the hem of the dress so that you can kind of continue that leg line. Okay, um, tone on tone with olive in this look. So she's got olive pants and an olive sweater. Not exactly the same olive. One is more like a gray olive, one is more a green olive. Totally works. Paired with a neutral bag and sneakers. Just a cool look. This one on Jo Lynn is super, super cute. A neutral sweater, uh, jeans, um, cute python or pattern boots and um, a neutral suede moto jacket. So if you don't have a neutral suede moto jacket in your wardrobe, um, I definitely recommend checking one out because you can throw it on over anything and it just instantly looks cuter. Um, I love this outfit, neutral bag, neutral sweater, neutral boots, and then the only pop of color in this outfit is that cute, colorful corduroy skirt. Now, you could do any colorful skirt. You could do a pair of colorful pants with the same formula. Um, just having color, whatever that color is for you. Maybe a pop of color for you is a little more subtle. Maybe it's a little bit more statementy, but just a great little um, inspirational outfit. Okay, this is um, a pair of olive skinnies or olive pants worn with um, a striped tee, a denim jacket, and leopard shoes. I love leopard and stripes together. It's a little bit of an unexpected combination, but it's super cute. The denim jacket kind of ties everything together and tones down the look a little bit, so I absolutely love that. The next outfit, again, we're seeing a neutral topper, right? So many so many outfits with long camel coats or long neutral jackets with them. This one is a black, simple black top, um, neutral jeans, you know, blue jeans, uh, this beautiful camel coat, and a pair of black loafers. So loafers are a key shoe trend for fall and winter. If you like them, I feel like they look really, really great paired with pants and jeans, and this outfit definitely illustrates that. So. 50 outfits, that was a lot. I went through them as quickly as I possibly could. I hope that you enjoyed getting inspiration and ideas for ways to wear the things that are in your existing wardrobe. This is not a shopping list. This isn't run out and buy all of these pieces. You may have spotted, like I've pointed out, a couple of pieces that might be missing from your fall wardrobe that will make everything else in your wardrobe play together more, you know, better and, um, help you create more outfit combinations. But most of these outfits can be recreated in some shape or form with pieces that you already have. So let me know what you think of this in the comments um, and let me know what, whether you'd like to see more videos like this. If you've got any feedback on this format, I'd love to hear about it. Definitely don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button if you haven't already before you leave. Hit the notification bell, it's super important. It lets you know when I upload new videos and I will see you in the next video.